Assalamu alaikum, respected colleagues. I will uh, quickly brief you what we have done and what we are doing currently in terms of developing the Bangladesh Food System Dashboard. So uh, before going into that, what uh, Dr. Rudaba has already mentioned, uh, it is developed to monitor the food system progress and to identify the data gap. So uh, the food system dashboard is globally already developed by King, John Hopkins University in collaboration with FAO. So this is the global dashboard, what it looks like. You can see uh, there is a space for global data, country profile, policies, and action. If you go into the uh, global data, uh, you can see all the different uh, components in terms of food system is here. Drivers, food supply chain, food environment, uh, individual factor and outcome. In each section there are many subsections and you can see uh, what are the number of indicators available uh, for this section. So if you select any of the indicator, you will see uh, the data and situation of the uh, globally. So if you put the cursor in any of the country, then you will see what is the value of that. Say for example, percent of population who cannot afford a healthy diet, currently it's 74%, uh, but that is uh, with the global data. Uh, and currently what we are trying to do is BBS validated data, we are trying to put uh, on the Bangladesh Global Dashboard. So you can see it in the map view if you want. You can see it in graph view. If someone wants to use the data for their further analysis, they can go for table, table view, download the uh, data, and analyze it further. If they want to know more about the data, they can uh, use the metadata, what is the source, definition, what is the relevance, etc. information they can get from here. And they can use, download the data and use it. So using this format, we are trying to develop the Bangladesh Food System Dashboard which is, uh, the prototype is already there, but it's not online yet. Uh, so the prototype is look like this. So you will get division-wise data from the same dashboard when we go to the country profile. So again, uh, if I go to the global dashboard and country profile, I'm just quickly going to Bangladesh part. What are the different features it will be adding? Like for any indicator, you will see where Bangladesh is doing over time in the region, South, Southern Asia, how they are doing, and globally for that indicator, how they are doing, and how we are uh, incomparable to the region and world doing, so that the decision maker can take action based on that. You can see for each of the component, there are uh, for different indicator there is color coding. This is actually targeted for the policymaker so that this color code can help quick decision making. You can see uh, at the end it show, it's showing green means unlikely challenge area, yellow means potentially challenge area, and red means challenge area. So for priority action, the red needs to be prioritized first, then green, then the yellow. So. Uh, in future, like uh, very recently, when we will complete the development of dashboard uh, under the leadership of Food Planning Monitoring Unit, Ministry of Food, obviously in collaboration with other uh, relevant ministry, private sector, academia, we will be launching and you can browse the Bangladesh Food System dashboard very recently. We are currently adding divisional data, but we will expand it to district and lower level. Thank you, everyone.